Hello my beautiful drone flying friends. So today we're going to talk about why does my drone drift? If you're new to this channel, please remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification because I'm going to talk about everything I've learned about flying drones, buying drones, maintenance of drones and photography, videography, everything. And I want to share that with you. All right, let's get on to the top five reasons why your drone may be drifting. So I think we have all been there where we take off and all of a sudden the drone's doing crazy stuff like drifting, even in these kind of like prosumer consumer range drones you can have issues with drifting and uh, it's even more common if you are building your own, your own drone or you are racing drones or your drone doesn't have a gps mode um, so let's talk about why your drone may be drifting and uh, how to get rid of this annoying little problem so the first reason could be that your accelerometers need calibrating um, now for each drone, the method by which you calibrate is a little bit different. Generally speaking, we're talking about uh, laying down the drone or sitting the drone down on a stable surface, opening some software, making sure everything's cool, and then rebooting the drone. Um, this video is based on an article that I've written called Why Does My uh, Drone Fly Backwards? and uh, go check that out because I've actually linked to YouTube videos for some of the most popular drones and how to reset the, um, the acceleration and the accelerometer. So uh, go check that out. I'll put the link in the description below so you can just click that and get straight to the article. Um, now you must remember that accelerometers measure the rate of change of movement, not the actual movement. So if your, if your drone is uh, starting to drift very slowly, the accelerometer may not be able to pick that up right away. Um, as well, like we're looking at the rate of change. So a steady drift this way could not be picked up by an accelerometer because you're not accelerating, um, you're just moving at a steady pace. But uh, that is one of the first things to look at is, is your accelerometer able to pick up that tiny, tiny movement? And like I said, go check out the ways of uh, calibrating your accelerometer, accelerometer is different for each drone. Go check out my article and uh, I'm sure you'll find a link that will help you. Okay, so the second thing could be the controller. So uh, the controller here is the thing that tells the drone what to do. Now it could be that if you have got a controller that isn't like a DJI one, uh, you know, it is a racing type one, uh, it could be that you just need to enter into the software of that controller to make sure that uh, it's not sending signals to your drone to move slowly one way or another. The thing about drifting movements is that uh, you know it's very small adjustments in the controller that can cause it to drift because uh, we're not talking about massive changes. So uh, yeah, in the DJI Go 4 app, you can go in and look at the uh, controller settings and calibrate it and you just wiggle the joysticks. You can also change the rate of acceleration based on the distance, so it doesn't have to be linear. Um, so it may be that uh, there's a little bit of a bug in there. Um, and also, yeah, calibrate your um, your controller if it is not a DJI one or if it's you know a special one, especially if you've built your own racing drone, that can be a huge issue. And the way that we uh, search for how to uh, calibrate your specific uh, controller is by typing into Google how to trim and then type in the serial number, the model number um, of your controller and you'll just be able to go through those steps that the recommended uh, manufacturer will sort of like uh, push you through. Okay, so the third reason why your drone may be drifting is because of the propellers. Now, propellers are the thing that spin fast, that produce downwards thrust so that it can climb. And if all of these aren't acting perfectly, we can actually end up with a small amount of drifting that the accelerometer can't quite pick up. Um, and remember that the accelerometer is the thing that's capable of correcting drift. And if it's just so subtle and slight um, because of, of a propeller issue or two propeller issues, um, then yeah, it may not be able to pick it up so and correct it. 
So uh, what I like to do is, when I get my drone first out, I like to run my fingers over the entire length of all of the um, propellers because your fingers really are one of the best sort of like sensitive tools for checking the quality and condition of your propellers. So yeah, I make sure that I've got no cracks and look, your fingers will pick it up almost immediately um, if there is anything. So I do that across all of the propellers. Then I get my nail and I very lightly sort of go across the leading edge of the propeller. Now the reason I do the leading edge is because that's where all the chips and sort of dents and uh, problems can occur from collision with like sticks and rocks and dirt and that sort of stuff. So I take my thumb nail and I just rub it just lightly over the edge and I try to feel for any nicks and bumps. And if I feel any, I'll replace the propellers. Like it's just not worth it. These are relatively inexpensive. They're a polymer um, and some of them have sort of like carbon and other sort of like uh, metal reinforcement stuff in there. But um, overall, they're very, very inexpensive. And I don't want to damage like a thousand dollars worth of equipment for the sake of five dollars worth of propellers. Um, so, yeah, so I'll, I'll rub around. Um, the last thing I do is sort of like feel the trailing edge just to make sure that it's smooth. But generally, if there's an issue, it will be um, a crack in the propeller. So I'll feel that with my fingers or the leading edge. So first of all, check condition. The second thing you can do with propellers is make sure they're in the right position. So here you can see that there's a, a yellow mark, uh, sorry, a white marker and a white marker, which tells me that this is in the right position and here it's black and black. So it's all good, all good. Uh, it's probably not that you've put them in the wrong position if you follow those things, but if you're using aftermarket like stealth or low noise propellers, they don't always match up in terms of the markings. So just make sure that they are in the right position if you've done anything fancy with your propellers. And the second thing is just make sure they're securely in the motor. Um, and you can do that just by pushing in and removing them and replacing them. So super easy, but propellers can cause a drone to drift. Okay, so if I've had a drifting drone, this is the problem. It's been that I have not waited for proper GPS connection and contact. Um, now, when you're first taking off, first of all, you gotta make sure your drone is in GPS mode. And the second thing is wait for you have at least eight uh, connections with satellites before you take off. Now, I have sometimes rushed that, and as soon as I take off, I notice the drone drifting forward, backwards, all over the place, and I have to manually adjust that. And if it's a particularly windy day, that can cause a fair bit of anxiety to, uh, to try to control this drone. I generally land as quick as possible. My skill level isn't good enough to kind of like uh, control a drone quickly. Uh, as it's going out of control, I'm, I have to rely on GPS. So uh, yeah, eight satellites and you know, ideally it would be 10 or more. Um, and also, you know, a GPS uh, location is only as good as the strength of the signals. So if you're in a place where there's not many GPS signals or, you know, like you're uh, in say a divot where there's loads of uh, mountains or something around you, then it may be that you're only relying on the, the GPS signals from right above you, which can have an issue with the sort of tri triangulation um, algorithm. But uh, just check that out. And if your drone is not connected to GPS, um, just uh, wait until it is, or decide to cancel the flight if it just can't connect for whatever reason you uh you know it could be the environment like i said could be the mountains so yeah could be gps and the fifth and final reason it could be that your drone has balance issues now balance issues can come from a range of things even small stickers and aftermarket or third party decals or something that you've put on your drone can cause it to drift because any of those tiny little imbalances um, can cause the slight kind of drift that the accelerometer uh, can't correct because it's just not big enough. Now, um, I know that there are a lot of fancy decals on Etsy and Amazon and that sort of stuff. And generally, if you're buying one that's specific to your drone, you won't have an issue. They've kind of thought about balancing out all of the different aspects. But uh, yeah, if, uh, if you find that you have 
put on say like some uh, some texture or some stickers or something that uh, isn't balanced out on the other side, you could have a little bit of drifting. Um, and also any debris that gets picked up along the way, you know, check for dust, keep your drone nice and clean at all times. Uh, those little things can really make a huge difference to your drone flying experience and a little bit of maintenance can go a long way. Okay, so there we have it. Those are my five top reasons why your drone could be drifting. Check it out and let me know in the comments if any of those helped you. Um, this video is based on an article, which is why is my drone flying backwards. Um, we talk about drift and other things. And also in that article, I've got loads of links and also a few other reasons. So go check that out. If you've liked this video, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe because I'm gonna be sharing all of the knowledge I've learned about flying, owning, maintaining, and taking photos and video with a drone. I'd love to share that with you. All right then, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.